My name is Matt Spang. I grew up in in Wisconsin Rapids, Wisconsin. I'm a cheesehead. I'm 35 years old. I have a daughter. She's 10. I'm recently married. I went to high school, graduated, and then I joined the military when I was 20 years old. Live in Colorado now, and I play sports, and I work for Epic Eyewear. I play wheelchair basketball, sled hockey, and I'm an avid golfer. I play with the VGA tournaments around the country, the Veterans Golf Association, and sled hockey. I play goalie for the Warrior Avalanche, the A team up in Denver. I found out about hockey when I was going through therapy down in San Antonio. I went to a Wisconsin CC, Colorado College game at the World Arena and I met the coach at the time and she said, have you ever tried hockey? And I said, no, but I've had a lot of friends say that I should try out for it. So she gave me her card and told me when practice was and I was there that next weekend just skating around. So that was seven years, uh, about six years ago. So I started playing with the A team and I started playing goalie because Nobody else really wanted to play goalie, so I gave it a try, and I've tried different methods, and I think I've got it nailed down pretty well. Do you play goalie because you're slow or because you're lazy? Ah, <laughs> uh, that's a good question. <laughs> I play goalie because I played soccer goalie and when I was growing up because nobody wanted to play goalie, so I stepped in and just played, and I really liked it. I enjoyed um being the guy that stopped people from scoring. So that's how I started playing hockey is I just did it for the the reps and the the working out and training and now here I am trying to get better and better every day and loving hockey and watching the avalanche on TV and following them and it's pretty neat. All the people I've met with different nonprofits and yeah, hockey's been pretty cool. I joined the military, I joined the Army back in 2006 as a combat engineer. I did my basic training at Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri. My first duty station was in Colorado Springs at Fort Carson, Colorado. I served with 4th ID from 2007 to 2010. I deployed once to Iraq. I was in Kirkuk and Mosul for six months each. We did route clearance and presence patrols. After my time here at Fort Carson, I re-enlisted for Schofield Barracks in Hawaii because I wanted to be with a light unit and I wanted to kind of be in the front lines. I wanted to be on foot. And I just, I just wanted to be closer to the action. Uh, after that, I deployed with 95th Engineer Sapper Company to Afghanistan. In Afghanistan, I was blown up three times. The first time was in October of 2011. The second time was in November. We had a Marine with us that had a, uh, a mine dog, and the dog passed away in the truck. And I had a lot of bruising and like a sprained ankle, and I had just a lot of scrapes. Next mission back was the third time I got blown up in Helmand Province, Afghanistan. Uh, we got hit by two IEDs. They tried to tip over the truck. I was sitting down in the back seat and it just shattered my legs and my ankles uh, and my feet. It messed me up pretty bad and the driver helped me get out. The person that was in charge of the truck got knocked out as well. So the two people in the front of the truck kind of got knocked out for a little bit. When they came to, they crawled through the back, helped me up through the hatch and got me on a stretcher and got me on a bird as fast as they could. I was in Germany for a couple days where I got to meet Tom Cruise. That was pretty cool. Was yeah. <laughs> and then after that, they flew me to uh, San Antonio, Brook Army Medical Center, and I did two years of therapy down there. And then when I was done with the two years, I medically retired from the Army. I was in the hospital for two months. After that, I was living in a hotel just outside the 
hospital for one month and then we got an apartment. So I had a three-year-old stepson at the time and then my daughter was one. So recovery with all the, the pain meds I was on was really difficult. About a year and a half, I was walking pretty well. I started golfing before I even got my legs. I started golfing on a, a solar rider. At first, I pushed people away. I didn't want to like do my therapy when I was in the hospital. I didn't really want to do anything. So it took me a while to get to a point where I could trust myself, believe in myself. Playing on sports kind of made me comfortable around people that had the same injuries and the same difficulties, were living the same life, and that helped me with my transition from having legs to having half legs. <laughs> <laughs>